All right, what's going on, people? It is uh, 8.45 in the morning. Just landed over, and that's 8.45 server. Just landed over in the Grand, the Grand, whatever you want to call this place. I still don't know the name. I pronounce it. And uh, I'm going to, whoa, going to try to, whoa, not hit these guys. Whoa, I should have my, I don't have my, tiny plates isn't set up right. Ugh. Let's uh, scoot on over here to a nice little, uh, Fishing spot I found uh, over in Negrand, Negrand. I'm just gonna keep calling it Negrand for right now. Um, you get fat sleeper, at least in these uh, streamy thingies. Uh, whatever you want to call these streams, rivers. I'm not really sure. Not a very fast moving body of water, so I don't know if that would constitute as a stream or a river. Anyway, um, I'm over in. I'm over at like 46.3449, somewhere in this general area. You can kind of see where I'm at. I'm going to kind of look in this general direction here. Let's see if we can do this. All right, look at that. Bright white top. Super dark feathers. If I'm not at 100% here, I'm going to be surprised. So I'm going to bring up my overlay. Uh, it's actually... I'm catching fat sleeper over here. I'm not sure if I have bait for it, but I'm just going to throw it on. I'm not sure if I have a fishing pole. I'm going to throw that on and uh, see how that comes up. I think I could drop this down to about like 90 or 80. It'll be okay. Oh, that was kind of a high cast. So let me just raise up a little bit. Cast a couple more. All right, it looks like in this general area is where I'm going to be okay. So I'm going to uh, start fishing. Um, pardon me, I have to adjust my headphones real quick. Oh. Um, and we'll see how it comes out in this general spot. Uh, again, I'm I'm actually at a, a new location right now. Probably move my map. Hang on a second. I am at... Uh, 45, well, just so you can see where I'm at, 45, 6, 44, 9, you can see me on the little map over here, I'm sorry, 46, 5, 44, 9, and you can see my location here, uh, I may as well just, like, leave that up there, that way you can, I'm sure where you can see the map over here, but I'll leave it, like, there, so you can kind of see it, and, resume fish. and, uh, with these settings, like I said, I got a pretty good feeling I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be at 100% here. It should not be an issue. Um, I did receive loot fat sleeper. Oh my gosh, I actually used the bait too. I don't even have a fishing rod. I'm using that stupid stick. God, they really dumbed down fishing, didn't they? You don't even need a fishing rod anymore. Basically, your character just always carries around this dumb stick, which allows you to fish. And apparently you can even apply bait to it. So you can fish... With this, I bet you I could use my freaking bobbers too. Hold on a second. I don't think I have any. Um, if I do, I have bright bobbles. So let's try to see if this actually works. So it's going to use the bait, which I got, and the bright bobbles, which apparently I don't have. Okay. So um, that's amazing. So you don't even need a fishing pole anymore. My gosh, what does this game come to? Well, you know what it's come to? It's come to me sitting here fishing automatically, collecting tons of fish, selling them for tons of gold, and basically never having to pay for the game again because I buy tokens. How good is that? So, um, this is, uh, you know, every zone is broken into, um, you know, different fish that you can catch. Apparently, Nagrand, the Grand, ugh, I'm going to keep doing it, is, um, Fat Sleeper in these areas. And I, uh, I only, I'm going to, I'm going to say this, you know, Take it however you want, but I only fish out in the world when I absolutely need to. And really what that means is when I was trying to get Nat Pagel as a friend or to get him to come over to my garrison, I, you know, you need to do that Nat Pagel achievement. I forget what the hell it's called. But basically, you got to go out and you do his quest or whatever where he tells you to go catch a hundred huge fish in like every zone. So, um... Basically, I did that, and I was using Fishmonger for that, and, and that was nice, um, because I didn't have to sit there and fish everything. I, I got everything done in, like, an hour or two, like, in each location, because um, you catch, on average, about 240 fish uh, an hour, and my, my fishing bait and everything wasn't that high at the time, so I wasn't catching enormous fish all the time. I think I was in the same kind of situation I am now, where I didn't even have a fishing rod. I just have that stupid um, stick. And... Um, it was great, but I didn't want, you know, it was hard fishing out in the world in certain spots because there's mobs everywhere. You know, you can come out of nowhere and kill you. And not only that, but other people. Um, 
I, you know, sometimes you see other people and they're fishing and you don't bother them. Sometimes people see you fishing, they bother you, especially if they're the other fashion. Um, I just so happen to fish on uh, two servers. One of them is like a 50-50 split, which sucks because I, I get ganked a lot out in the world. Uh, the other is like a 90-10 split, like Alliance to Horde. So I really don't have to worry about that. But still, you know, the problem with fishing out in the world is, you know, let's say somebody's out there questing and you're over there fishing. Okay, that's cool. And they're out there doing quests or whatever. And as they're running around doing quests, they run by you again and they see you're still fishing. And they go, oh, that's cool. And they're out and doing quests and stuff, and they're doing other things, and they, they run back to turn their quests in, whatever, and they see you fishing in the same exact spot again. I mean, you know, this is 30 minutes later, and they're probably like, at this point, oh, this is weird, this guy's the same exact guy again, huh? What's he doing over there? So they'll, uh, maybe go over and be like, hey, what's up? And they'll stand next to you, and you'll sit there and ignore them, and they'll go, hey, how you doing, man? What's going on? And then you'll sit there and ignore them. And then maybe they'll stand right in front of you, and they'll go, yo, what are you doing, dude? And basically be directly in your way, and you won't be saying anything. And then they'll be jumping up and down, casting mounts and stuff and all that stuff in front of you and and what that's actually doing is screwing up your fishing because they uh they're getting in the way of your fishing box and all that stuff so really it's they're, they're making it so you're not fishing very well um and at that point they're like all right this doesn't look right because i'm sitting here trying to talk to this guy i'm obviously up in his face he's obviously still fishing which means he's at his computer and he's uh he's not he's just straight up ignoring me and not only that but he's continuing to try to fish while I'm sitting there on my mount right in front of him. Oh, this guy must be a bot. Bam, and then all of a sudden you get reported, and then bam, it's, you know, Blizzard may or may not look into it, but, you know, what just happened is you got in trouble for fishing, but it's got nothing to do with fishmonger getting you get caught. It's your fishing habits that cause the issue. You know, you basically put yourself in a situation where somebody could see you and report you, and... You, you know, you're going to get caught. And you run that risk when you're out there in the world fishing, you know. Unless you have this super hidden fishing spot that, like, nobody ever goes to. Or, you know, this corner of the map that you can go to and fish. Where the only other reason anybody else would go to that corner of the map is because if they wanted to run a fishing bot at the same time. You know, you can do that. You can certainly run that risk. But, me personally, once I got the, um, once I was out in the world and I fished up all those lunkers that I needed to for the coins, for the mounts, and for the, the pets and all that stuff. I just called it, I called it a day. I said, alright, I'm done. Like, I'm not going to fish out in the world anymore. Or, if I do fish out in the world, I'm going to be at my computer while I'm doing it. Um, like, right now, I'm actually, sit, you know, obviously sitting at my computer watching myself fish, but I'm not actively fishing. Um, you know, I, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a safe way to fish if you're out in the world. But if you're in your garrison, man, you got nobody to bother you at all. Oh my God, just go to town. Set it up. Fishmonger. Three, four, five, six hours at a time. You know, whatever you feel comfortable with. And just uh, just let it roll. And just walk away from your computer. And just, just let it do its thing, man. And come back and you got like a thousand fish later. And, you know, you're, you're pushing, you know, 4,000, 5,000 gold a day just from just from fishing up fish. And, and getting all that stuff that you need. And, and uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot safer to, uh, to do that. But... Um, if you gotta go out in the world, you know, pick your spots carefully. And, oh, look at those guys running across the bridge there. That's why you don't want to fish on that bridge. <laughs> that is not a good fishing spot. Those guys are just screw you. Um, pick your spots carefully. And, uh, if you're out in the world, you know, and you gotta step away for a little bit, just don't step away for too long, you know? Just step away. If you see somebody by you or whatever, and they're starting to bug you or whatever, just be like, oh, I had my chat window closed, sorry about that, or something, and... And uh, if you come back and you see him toying with you or whatever, you know, just make some responses up that are just kind of like, you know, human interaction responses. Um, and that way you'll uh, you'll never really run the risk of, uh, of getting banned for, for looking suspicious um, when you're out in the world doing something. Um, so I'm going to leave this video with this. Uh, again, this location is 465-449 uh, over in uh, that N-word place, Nagrand. Nagrand. And... Um, I'm gonna, uh, I mean, it's great, great little, great settings here. I got a search sensitivity of three, uh, which is my default, you know, three to four in that range. Color sensitivity of 80. It is around, geez, what time of day is it now? Is it almost midday? Nine o'clock in the morning server time. So it's kind of early in the day. So I'm actually kind of curious. I, I might come back to the same exact location later on at night and see what it happens. Um, I, oh, I got my NPC scanner on. I, uh, I'd be, uh, surprised 
if it didn't change, I actually do think the colors change as the day goes on. It's one of the nice things about Warcraft, um, is the, uh, you know, it's that whole continual, continuous, uh, changing, um, uh, you know, uh, atmosphere and scenery and everything based on the, the time of the day and all that stuff. I really wish they gave me the old weather back. I want to see the thunderstorms and the rain and all that stuff, but that's, that's for another day, because, uh, I know that's not going to happen anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, but alright, I'm out. Um, good luck with the fishing, and have a good one.